doing today. <clears throat> if it's your first time seeing this channel, I'd like you to consider subscribing and liking to get the algorithm going. We just got some more XRP news today, Ripple News, you know, to focus on XRP and our profits that we have invested. All right. So this is just a little read from on Bitcoinist.com. It says Ripple SEC begs court not to disclose Hinman documents, threatens appeal. While U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC Chairman Gary Gensler is calling for a crackdown on the crypto industry based on existing, existing laws and jurisprudence, he may find his nemesis in Ripple and the battle over the Hinman documents. As Bitcoin has reported yesterday, redactions of all documents related to the summary judgment were due to be filed by the SEC and Ripple by yesterday. Both parties met that deadline in a timely manner, and the SEC's filing reveals that it is still not ready to release the Hinman documents to the public. In the document, the SEC is begging District Judge Annalisa Torres not to release the documents while also issuing a threat. The SEC respectfully maintains that the Hinman speech documents are protected by privilege. But if these documents were to become part of the public record, the SEC would be foreclosed from making any such argument in the future on appeal in this litigation or in other litigation, which would be highly prejudicial to the SEC. Is, Re is Ripple becoming the SEC's nemesis? Ripple community attorney Jeremy Hogan commented on this paragraph in the document. The SEC is still arguing that the Hinman emails are privileged despite losing that issue about a hundred times already. Blows my mind and makes me recurious. Is that a word? About what is it then? About what is it? About what is in them? I'm sorry. Another community lawyer, Bill Morgan, points out the threat the SEC is making. According to the SEC, Torres is not authorized to release the Hinman documents because they could appeal the sum summary judgment decision. Untimely, Ripple execs slam SEC on Wells Fargo as updated court schedule is released. Ultimately, the agency argues that it did not waive the privilege against the public because it turned the emails over to Ripple as ordered. I'm not sure how the SEC can argue that it didn't waive the privilege when the court has determined that they are not privileged, Morgan noted. Further, the attorney contended that under the court's findings, there is no privilege that can or cannot be waived. At the same time, Morgan concedes legitimacy to the SEC's argument because the SEC could still appeal. This does not definitely settle the confidentiality issue. It is not a question of the value of the, of the decision in this case as a precedent, but a question of res judic judicata, Morgan said. Still, the SEC statement makes clear that the hinman is paramount to its law by enforcement policy. Another victory for Ripple at this point could be a victory for the entire crypto industry. MoneyGram, Ripple involved. MoneyGram launches online remittance platform in Brazil. Back in late September, Judge Torres ruled that the Hinman documents must be turned over to Ripple Labs after months of litigation. The documents authored by former SEC Co Corporation Finance Division Director William Hinman primarily relate to a speech that executive gave at the Yahoo Finance All Market Summit in June of 2018. Hinman states in his speech that Ethereum ETH is not a security. Ripple considers this speech a key piece of evidence to prove the ambiguous legal regime for crypto in the U.S., which even SEC employees can't navigate. The statement that the SEC would be foreclosed from making any such argument in the future revealed a massive implications. At press time, the XCP price was trading at 34.3494 sense all right well i was just giving you guys a little follow-up on um what's going on with ripple
just to touch up on, you know, keep you guys posted. We have another write up here about um, XRP whale withdraws 52 million from Binance. Can it help reverse price? Data shows an XRP an XRP whale has withdrawn 52 million in the token from Binance. Something that might help the crypto turn around from its recent bearish trend. XRP remains weak, declines another 10% during past week. This month of December hasn't been kind to XRP investors as the assets value has only been going downhill during the period. While other cryptocurrencies have also been suffering, XRP's decline has been worse than bigger coins like Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'm still going to continue the dollar cost average into this, into XRP because I trust this investment. I trust this company and it's already running on a lot of banks. So, you know, hopefully my followers, you know, do the same. So when Ripple skyrockets, everyone going to get paid handsomely. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for now. I was trying to find a little more write-ups, but it doesn't seem like we have too much. Give me a few minutes. Let's see what we got. So I'm doing this live before I lay down for the morning. It's 1246 over here, as you can see at the time. All right, well, I'll keep you guys. I'll keep you guys posted on what's going on with um XRP and Ripple. I just want you guys to um, pay attention to my videos, um, get into that star crazy game, get you some NFTs, mine them, make you some profits and dollar cost average into XRP. Remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I've only known about cryptocurrency since 2013. So, you know, just stay focused and always remember, I'm not going to lead you guys wrong. Okay. I'll keep you posted. Blessed love.